What's up my friends, my name is Forge and welcome to our brand new video. So today we got a brand new beta of 1.18.20.25. Now a few weeks ago we got a brand new UI for the Create World screen and this week we got a new change for that. So if I click on go to new design and I go down to resource pack, this is now available within the betas. My goodness, it already looks so much better than what it does right now. I absolutely love this. So right up here, we have the active section and then we have the available section. So basically any packs that you own, it will be put inside of this section. It's like for me, I own advanced chat. I have console graphics and dark mode and a few other research packs. All of those will be put inside of there. Then if you click on to get more packs, obviously it'll take you right back over to the marketplace. We also have shared packs on the very top, which whenever you enable that, anybody that loads into your world, they have to download the research pack in order to join the world. But sadly, they have not done behavior packs yet, so hopefully they're going to get that done very, very soon. If I click on any of these packs, then they'll give you a description of what the pack is. I've also noticed a bit of a bug going on. It's right here that's not meant to appear. These are meant to change the color of the text. So that's going to be something that will need to be fixed. Next to the pack, there is an option that says activate. So if you click on that, then it's going to activate it for your game. And it shows right there in your local active packs. I also really like the fact that it shows you all the packs that are already active. So like these packs are in my global resources. My global resources, I mean this section right down there. All those packs that we saw before, they are inside the global resources. And any pack listed in here, those are all going to be carrying across the entire game. Our next part of the video is all about the goat horn. It has been a few changes to the goat horn. The first change is a new sound effect whenever a goat loses a horn. Whenever a goat rams into any tree in Minecraft, then it can drop one of its horns. Then you can use that goat horn for your own purposes. Now, as of right now, there's no reason why you need to get one of these, but later on, there might be a very good use for these. Whenever a goat rams into a tree, then it will drop one of its horns. And there is a new sound effect that will play whenever that does occur. So the sound effect is called mob.goat dot orn underscore break and by typing in this command I'm gonna press enter take a listen to me the sound effect sounds a lot like a crossbow so take a listen a little bit different in pitch though and second there is a new animation for the goat horn ever since the goat horn was first added to the bedrock edition so whenever you would use the goat horn it looked like you're eating it but now whenever you play it in third or first person it has a new animation to make it look like you're actually using it. Oh come on goat, that was so uncalled for, that poor wolf. I hope you're okay Mr. Wolf. I know, I know, the goats are mean. Oh come on, stop attacking the wolf. So I'm gonna go and play this and look at that. It actually looks like you're blowing into the horn. But obviously you have to wait for the cooldown now, which I really do not like. And if I play it again third person, that's what it looks like. Like, I think the animation looks pretty cool, but I think that they should have made the animation just a little bit more animated, like not static. But I kind of think it would be really cool if it looked like the player was about to blow into it. And that is it for the goat horn changes. So goat horn, go ahead and rest, and I'll see you in a few betas from now. He also added a new command to the game, which I really was not expecting. That is the place feature command. This is the command that made its debut in Java Edition like two snapshots ago. And I'm very surprised that this even came to bedrock. This command is very, very powerful because you can basically get access to all of the features for your world. Like maybe you want to place down an azalea tree. You see, we got ourselves the azalea tree on the very bottom. I press enter, then it shows the azalea tree. Or let's say you're on sand and you want a desert well, then you press enter, then you got yourself a desert well. Just to clarify what a Minecraft feature is. Now sadly, within this command, you cannot place down structures like villages. You can't place desert temples or jungle temples. You can't place any of the structures inside your world. You can only place down decorational type structures like trees or grass or even desert wells. With desert wells, they are a structure, but they're considered a decoration inside the game. It's not considered the same thing as like a village or a jungle temple or anything like that. Basically, all the decorational type stuff, that is what this command is for. It's not for placing down structures. I love the ability of placing down igloos or placing down jungle temples. Like just imagine typing in that command and then just having an entire nether fortress. Like just having another fortress coming from that mound right over to the other mound. Now that would be fairly cool. Or maybe even a bastion. As long as I can remember, the Unger system in Bedrock Edition 
it's been pretty rubbish. I mean, we can all agree, but guess what? Mojang actually made a bit of a change to how the Unger system works on Bedrock. So let's go ahead and see these changes. So first off, when you're running around your world and you're swimming around, the Unger will now go down properly. And when you're jumping around, you will lose a lot less hunger than you would otherwise. If you're someone that makes behavior, if you're someone that makes add-ons, this one is for you. You can now change the exhaustion rates within behavior packs. There's also been a few changes to trading. If you're trading with a fisherman at master level, depending on the biome that the villager lives in, then he's going to give you that specific boat. If the villager becomes a fisherman in the jungle, then he'll give you a jungle boat. If he's in a spruce farm, then he'll give you a spruce boat. And if you're in a plains, that's going to be oak. A cleric is now going to offer you glowstone blocks instead of glowstone dust. A trade has been moved in the weaponsmith. So now if you're on a novice level of a weaponsmith, he'll offer you an enchanted iron sword. So in this case, we got sharpness too. That's actually a pretty good trade. Is someone in another one? This sword has unbreaking too, and this one gives us smite too. When you're trading with the armorer, the diamond trade is now moved to journeyman. Our next change is regarding the frog light. Now, as we all know, these were introduced a few days ago, and they're obtained whenever a frog eats a small magma cube. And depending on the type of frog that eats the magma cube, it's going to give you a different frog light. So, this change is regarding how they're rotated. In the previous betas, whenever you would place down one of these blocks, they would randomly rotate. But now whenever you place them down, they're still going to be rotatable, but it's going to work how log does. Then our final change is going to be regarding frog and sea turtle tempting. Now whenever you're trying to tempt a sea turtle or a frog, they can now be tempted vertically. We just got the confirmation from Jurac79, which is the release manager for Minecraft. We now have the Minecraft preview app on Windows. So basically, we got this tweet from him where it says, Happy Wednesday. Minecraft preview is now available on Windows for all players who own the Bedrock version, and you can install by visiting the link down below. I will also make a video tomorrow on how you can install this. And with that being said, that's basically it for all the changes that we have in this week's beta of 1.18.20.25. Now down below in the comments, I would love to hear what you have to say about these new changes. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're around here, and for now, hope you have a logical day. I will catch you next time. Goodbye.